First it was Jones. It's really important that we understand the city that we live in, not just the past, but also where we hope that it goes in the future, so we can be an active part of it, making it that way. Look it all in. Okay. Do you see it? Named after the poet Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who is the first African American to win an award as a poet. Do any of you guys like poetry? I'm excited because I have lived in Ann Arbor for almost 20 years and I've already learned stuff that I didn't know. Um, we're learning about why families settled here and why families are moving to other areas and we're learning about why that happened 50 and 100 years ago in this space that I've lived in and, and didn't know all the history of. Every neighborhood has its own piece of history and so therefore every school has its own part of history and so every area of community can have of our community can have an opportunity like this to learn more about the neighborhood you live in the neighborhood you teach in and and the neighborhood that you're a part of market that we know and love it as today it served the community in a different way the kids in my class, uh, her parent works at Community, and she saw this as an opportunity to connect our two schools um, and to do a little partnership. So the planning kind of happened organically, uh, and we were able to invite another classroom in, and it, like I said, was really organic in how it kind of came to be. I think the most important thing that I want kids to remember from this is not any specific facts or anything, but just to have that general interest in the history of an area and be intrigued and wanting to learn more.